Hi friends, Janet the Moline Library here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the books that are on the Illinois Reads list for 2020 that are for in students in grades 6 through 8. First we have Fireborn by Rosaria Munda. And in this book, Annie and Lee were just children when a brutal revolution changed their world. Now they're both rising stars in the new regime. Annie's lowborn family was executed by Dragonfire, while Lee's aristocratic family was murdered by revolutionaries. Growing up in the same orphanage forged their friendship, and seven years of training have made them rivals for the top position in the dragon riding fleet. But when survivors from the old regime surface, Lee must choose to kill the only family he has left or to betray everything he's come to believe in. And Annie must decide whether to protect the boy she loves or step up to be the champion her city needs. Ninja Get Good, My Ultimate Guide to Gaming by Tyler Blevins is a nonfiction book. And uh, this book is a video gamer's compendium of some of the tips and tricks that the author has collected over the years. It's meant to be used as a kind of reference guide stored next to your console or computer um, that can assist you with questions when you feel stuck. Um, the author, Tyler Blevin, didn't want it to be just like specific to one particular game or console or whatever. So he intended this to be kind of a timeless resource that can apply to gaming in general versus specific games. So if you're a gamer, you should probably see if you can get your hands on this one. The Hero Squadron is the first book um, of the Powers in Action series by Alt Art Balthazar. And in this book, uh, Lynx brings his sister Ocelot with him when he goes to join the super team fighting um, it for their first meeting. Um, but they don't even have a chance to get there before they're battling their first supervillain. Whether or not these two cat heroes will fit in with the members of the Hero Squadron is a question, uh, but it seems like their leader kind of likes them. So check this one out and look for other adventures to come. Robert E. Lee, The Man, The Soldier, The Myth by Brandon Marie Miller is another nonfiction book. And it presents the life of this famous Confederate general. It describes his childhood, his 35-year career in the U.S. Army, his decision to fight for the South during the Civil War, and his command of some of the most famous battles of the war. If you are interested in the Civil War or you like biographies, be sure to check out this one. Strange Birds, A Field Guide to Ruffling Feathers is actually not a nonfiction, um, and it's the story of several girls. Um, Ophelia is searching for a story. While her friends leave their boring Florida town for summer camps and family vacation, she is prepared for zero excitement. Lane is tired of her whole family, especially her parents, who sent her to live with her grandmother for the summer while they finalize their divorce. Aster has one last summer to figure out how to be a kid. She's been homeschooled by her grandfather her whole life, and it's easier for her to make a souffle than a friend. Kat is hiding a big secret. She's in need of a new troop after she quits the Floras, her local scouts, without her mother knowing. When fate and longing bring these girls together, they bond over a shared mission to get the Floras to ditch an outdated tradition. In their quest for justice, independence, and an unforgettable summer, the girls form their own troop and find something they didn't even know that they needed, which is friendship and sisterhood. Finally, we have um, The Best Kind of Magic by Crystal Sestari. And this is the first book in the Windy, Cindy, Windy City Magic series. And unlike the rest of her family, Amber is not a witch, but she does have the magical ability to envision anyone's soulmate. She works at her mother's magic shop, which is called Windy City Magic. And she feels like she has seen everybody else's happy ending except for her own. When Charlie, the Chicago mayor's son and most desired boy at school, comes to Amber for help in finding his father's missing girlfriend, she finds herself falling for him. Unfortunately, her gifts tell her that Charlie is not destined for her. So I hope that you'll check out some of these books and um, 
maybe some of the others that we have in our library. If you have any questions, give us a call at 309-524-2470 and we'd be happy to help.